What is this? Oh my goodness. Good morning and welcome to the weekly vlog. Yep, I'm doing an old fashioned weekly vlog as a little bit of a treat. It is Monday morning right now, seven o'clock and guess where I'm about to go? Only to the ITV studios to be on Loose Women today. <laughs> Let's go. This is what I'm wearing to travel down in. I've gone for this little like blazer jobby. What's this fabric called? Like boosel, bousel, buckle. I don't know. Um, and a t-shirt and jeans. And then these, I think I'm gonna wear these on the show. I think they're a bit Carrie Bradshaw. And then these are the selection of dresses that I'm gonna take and see what they would prefer me to wear. If you've been following me a long time, you might remember I went on Lorraine a couple of years ago and forgot all my dresses, but I've remembered them this time. <laughs> that scarred me, that experience of forgetting all my dresses. So we're here, I'm so excited. Here we are, dressing room 22, with Toby, the greatest makeup oh, artist. He's gonna turn this egg into a TV acceptable face. What's your secret, Toby? Um, lots of all of this. <laughs> all of this. <laughs> Uh, what's your secret? It's all of this. <laughs> um, I'm excited. Cheeky little breakfast. Hello. Well, that looks lovely. Right, here we are. Here's my day outfit. The next time you see me, I'm going to be TV glam. Yeah, <laughs> da 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 da. Woohoo! Here she is. Here she is. <laughs> Too far. Charlotte just having a great time. Right, I'm bringing all the energy, and here's Charlotte living her best life. Keeping the wheels turning. Really. Someone needs to. Someone, Someone needs to. to. <laughs> that was amazing. That was such a good. What a great start to the week. <laughs> like it's only Monday, and now we're going this way. We're gonna go get some macaroni and cheese to celebrate a little early birthday. Oh, by the way, it's my birthday this week. Um, a little birthday treat. Oh yes, hello, hello friend. Home again, oh my goodness. Today has been such a day. I feel like I've experienced so many emotions today, like extreme excitement, nerves, and then when I was on the segment, I just felt this like total like calm and like happiness and joy. And then when I came off it, I felt like excitement again, like, like the buzz, the adrenaline of it. Then I had my macaroni and cheese and I just was enjoying that and talking to Charlotte. And then in the car on the way home, I've been doing all my socials and now I feel a bit headachey. I think probably because I've been looking at my phone and I want to take my lashes off as well. Although when Toby does my makeup, because he does like such a nice job, it's like professional makeup. I don't want to take this off. It feels sad to wash it off. Um, but I'm home now, back to real life. So I'm gonna take this off and put gym jams on. But I just want to show you, we've got some new friends living with us. So we've been doing one of these butterfly garden insect um, kits for the past few weeks and our butterflies just hatched yesterday, which was perfect timing. We've been doing the, uh, the insects and then they're like chrysalids and Pearl has been loving it. We've got five, we've got one there, one there, and then three up there. I bought it for Pearl thinking, oh, that'll be such a good like learning experience for her. But I feel like I've learned more about butterflies than she has because I've been reading the pamphlet. I'm like, okay, it's day whatever now. They're supposed to do this and we've got to put them here and take them out of the sunlight and now put them back in. Uh, um, but yeah, I thoroughly recommend it if you're into that kind of thing. You release them, by the way. They're not going to live in there forever. They stay in there for like three to five days. Their wings have to harden and then you let them out on the warmest part of the day and they go and live their happy butterfly life. But yeah, my little pals there. Right, tell me what's been the best thing about each of your days. Um, oh, and here's Liam as well. Liam, what's been the best thing about your day? Seeing you girls. Oh. The best thing was having my harmonica. Finding that harmonica. It's like... <laughs> And what's been I your best thing? Water. Good girl. <laughs> what's been your best thing? Um, probably dance. I really enjoy music. Mine theater. is the phone. <laughs> you enjoy dance, musical theatre. And I enjoy the phone. You've enjoyed taking my phone. Jolly good. Oh, of that'll be a flattering picture. <laughs> so many pictures on my phone, they're just awful. They're always like a pet. Yeah. I'm going to take a picture of me in a mirror. Okay. <laughs> Do a selfie. <laughs> A little giggle. That's my leggings. Thanks I'm for that. Take a picture of me. Hey, yep. Hello. Hello, me. Yeah. <laughs> Good 
good morning to you it's tuesday monday one day tuesday two day name that sitcom if you can't name that sitcom we are a generation different i know that some of you that watch these are a bit younger so there'll be people that can and people that can't and there'll be nothing in between um good morning i'm outside can you see where i'm outside no um matalan and hobbycraft i'm in the mood for a project there's something that i've seen on lemonade actually do you know that new app it's like if pinterest and instagram had a baby it would be cool it's it's lemonade i'm gonna link it below i'm on there if you want to follow me follow me if you don't want to no worries um but i saw this idea on there um that i want to do and i don't know if either of these shops have the things that i need but i fancied a little outing anyway so what i need and as soon as i tell you this you're gonna be like oh yeah i know what you're making a denim jacket and patches well it's not really making anything am i I'm just customizing a denim jacket good morning <laughs> that was a lot of waffle to say i am customizing a denim jacket feeling a bit emosh at the moment like very heightened emotions one i'm still on like a massive high from yesterday and going to the studios oh why do cars do this let me just show you how much space there is in this car park so much space in this car park and yet someone has just come and parked right next to me i don't ever want car buddies i want i like trying to have sp i park as far away from the shop as possible so i've got space on either side because i find it hard to park and unpark what's unparking called taking off pulling out <laughs> no um well, what was i saying so i'm on a high yeah you've parked very close to me okay uh i'm on a high from that also i just listened to this new song darcy um as you know if you follow dance man monday on instagram um darcy does festivals which are like friendly competitions and she has a ballet solo and she has a song and dance solo but she's just been asked to join the team song and dance group and the song that they're going to be singing i was like almost weeping listening to the song uh, like just the actual track but when I hear children singing it especially Darcy my daughter and then all the girls I know them like quite well now like I'm gonna be a mess I'm, I'm gonna have like <laughs> I've, I've got a lot of thoughts <laughs> I'm talking too quickly let's go and see if we can find a denim jacket and some fun embellishments come along good morning welcome Tuesday Tuesday okay here we go cross your fingers I've got some denim jackets I've just picked this up, I can't resist it. You know my nail lady, Chloe? She's had a baby called Iris, and so I bought her this. So, I only found one denim jacket that would work. So I think I'm gonna put it back because I want them matching. But I did find that for Iris, and then a cardigan, and then some sandals for Pearl, so not a totally wasted pop-in. And also, I'm gonna have a little look at the homeware. Right, we've put those bits back in la voiture. Let's see what Hobbycraft has to offer even if it doesn't offer embellishments and patches i'm still gonna have a good time because who doesn't have a good time in hobby craft do i need a trolley no that's excessive a basket is fine a basket is fine although i do want like a draggy basket no i want the ones with wheels i've gone off piece but it was always gonna happen i know i'm gonna regret buying these but oh, they're not focusing there they are but pearl just loves to make little necklaces and things for her teddies and We'll all like attach things to everything so I'm gonna buy these for her and now I've seen all of this so I'm just having a very happy mooch how good is this this is the first time I've seen it like this bio glitter glitter made from plants yeah just a sprinkle of glitter now these sticker designs are basically what I want in patches for the denim jackets these look like these could work for the denim jackets not patches yet but I think these would look nice all stuck round you know Okay, we have found some patches. I'm not sure any are super standing out to me at the moment. It's quite cute, that little roller skate. It's giving me very time after time 80s vibes. Oh my goodness, the cricket stuff almost makes me like have heart palpitations. I love my cricket so much. I haven't used it in ages, but now this is inspiring me to get it out again. Oh, hello clearance beads beads buttons and a sprinkle of glitter if you know you know yes please but what is it hmm i'm not sure about that for four pounds what was it to begin with that's what i'd like to know 
I have to say for a craft lover, this is extremely um, restrained. Look at it, just craft heaven. Well, that was a lovely 20 minutes spent. And now I've got to get back home because I've got a Zoom call with BBC Radio Northampton to talk about um, my paperbacks that's out this week. So it's all go. There was less traffic than I thought, so I have just stopped off to get a subway and I'm going to quickly look in next and see if they have any denim jackets. But I am cutting it a little bit fine for this interview, so I'm just going to get in, get out, hopefully get the jackets. Must not get distracted, must not get distracted, must not get distracted. Oh, I love the children's section in here. Yay! So happy. Next had the goods. Yeah! So pleased about that. They also had white ones which were soft and lovely. I thought the girls would really like them. Um, but I just thought white on days out is never, it's never a winner with kids. So I've gone for the denim and I'm really looking forward to bejeweling these. And I'm excited for my sandwich. But I'm going to go home and I really am going to do this interview now. So I'm doing my second interview of the day now. Uh, this is with the Daily Mirror. That's right, isn't it? Daily Mirror? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to show you my very professional setup and I'm going to show you Dan, who is a lovely journalist who um, I've worked with before, but it's going to be in the vlog. It's going to be a big, exciting moment. So, professional setup, it's a box and it's a laptop. Here he is. Say hello. Hey. <laughs> hey. Dan, how long have you watched YouTube for? Um, probably since I was like 15, so coming up to almost 15 years. You don't look old enough to be 15 plus 15, 30. <laughs> this, is, this has gone wrong, I'm interviewing, I'm interviewing you now. <laughs> it's weird, it's like role reversal. When will your article potentially be out? Um, I can try and get it out today or tomorrow. Oh, this won't be out for like a week or so, so you win. It's a bit later on. And I'm here at Rushton Lakes. I'm just going to go and find Liam and Pearl, who are somewhere over there. So if you've not been here before, on one side it's all shops, and then on the other side it's the lake. And around the lake there's like a walk and parks and things. So they've gone there. We're going to go and have a little play. And then we're going to have a wagger, Mama, since it's my birthday week. Any excuse, honestly, to have a waggers. Bloody love it. So I just walked along there. If ever you come here, the shops are all over there. Car park just here, but if you just go down the side here, down the side of all the like restaurants and bars, this little path takes you into the woodland area. Hello, missus. Ready? Woo! That was a nice dismount as well. Wowie, wowie. So this is the little park area. And then around there, they've got like a shipwreck kind of thing. Here she comes. Oh my god, I want to stand up. Well, I wouldn't do it standing up. <laughs> oh. You could lay down, go face forward if you wanted a bit of a thrill. Ready, steady, go. Is so pearly. Crow's yes, it's a real crow's nest. Pearl's going up into oh, the nest. Eggs? Yeah, I've not eggs. actually been up here. Let's do this. Oh, oh no. I don't have the dexterity. What's it called? Leg dexterity, babe. The flexibility. Oh, there are eggs. Oh, my God. Okay, just mummies. Flip an egg. Oh, look. That's so cute. How many are there? One, two, three, four. Yeah. This is a lovely view up here, and then you can see all of Russian lakes. What a lovely view. The best view. Oh. So cringe. Oh, hello. Come to mommy. Yes. Cheers, 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 cheers. Worst vlogger ever. I think I filmed the menu and then the food came and I was like, <laughs> didn't, didn't actually film any of it. But imagine a katsu curry. To be fair, a katsu curry on camera isn't that appealing. It looks a lot like, well, I'll, I'll, you know what it looks like. You're in a cupboard. Good morning to you. It's Wednesday. Wednesday, what day? Where day? I'm not going to do that every day. Maybe I am going to do that every day. I don't know. We'll see. It's a mystery to all of us. Um, I'm about to have my nails done. Lovely Chloe's popping over and she's had a baby. 
happy. You know that from yesterday because I bought that little outfit. Um, so hopefully she's bringing her little bambino and I'll get to have some squishy cuddles. Um, I've gone today for a shirt under a cardigan. It's, it's like by the time you watch this it'll be May but for us now it's the very end of April. Why am I wearing a thick cardigan this time of year? I don't know. Um, but it's this like loosey goosey shirt that's not so loosey goosey anymore because it's shrunk in the dryer. It shouldn't have put it in the dryer. Um, but I feel like this little ruffle gives a bit of interest. I think if I had my glasses on and my hair down, would I look like some sort of saucy minx librarian? Um, I'll give it a go. Uh, yeah, so that is your intro. Time to get nails done. Mary's here and she said, baby Iris can be in the weekly. Hello, my gorgeous. Look what you got. Look. Here comes Milky. This is the good cat. We're not too worried, but we'll stand here. Look at his tiny feet. Why are you so precious? Why is she just so gorgeous? You are so precious, you little hands. These little hands. You done a good one here, Chloe. I did. I did. I'm gonna have some cuddles. Right. I'm gonna put this one out because you're the maybe not friendly one. I promise you we'll start our appointment soon, Chloe. But she's holding my hand. Look at her in her neutrals. Slay. <laughs> little frilly socks. <laughs> What you went squeezing? She's looking at you. She's like, where's my mummy? Oh God, I can't bear. So I do this thing with Chloe every week where I basically pick the same colour every week. This is the one I thought. Yeah. I thought that was very oh, My Little Pony. It is very My Little Pony. Is it a bit strong? No. No. <laughs> what do you think? Is it a bit strong? Strong contender. Mm-hmm. This is more of an orangey. What do you think? Ooh. Strong contender. Oh, I'm surprised. And then I've got a minty green. Minty green? Oh, look, that's Iris's choice. Strong contender. Jeez. <laughs> you know yeah, what? this one yeah. actually, actually, I oh. think you might like this oh. one. Oh, oh. Oh, well, that's the one. Isn't yeah, it? I knew that's it. That's the I one. Forgot. Oh, hello. This is a bit high up. I'm just putting. My shoes on. That was impressive. That was, nearly did myself an injury. Nearly split my difference there. Um, right, it's half past twelve. Let's go up here. And I have done some editing. Not a lot of editing. I'm so slow at editing. I'm slow at editing and reading. Um, but now I've got a hair appointment in an hour. But I've also got a BBC Radio Home Counties slot in half an hour. And if I'm out of breath from, from doing that kick and putting my shoes on, I'm so unfit. <sighs> um, and if I stay here to do the radio slot, I won't have enough time to drive over for the hair slot. So I thought I would do the radio thing in the car, because I don't think it's video, because it's radio. Um, and then I'll be ready for hair. And then I'll be slightly too early to drive to school. I've not arranged this well today at all. I'll be slightly too early to drive to school but it won't be enough time to come home and then go to school. So I'm gonna to go to school, but I've taken all my work and I'm just gonna park like tucked away and sit and do some work, do some editing. I actually do more work in my car, I, like but there's no distractions. I really focus when I'm in there. So that's my afternoon. Um, the nails and hair today was because I thought that was gonna be on Loose Women on Friday and then it got moved. So, I mean, it wasn't a problem in the end. Um, and I kept my appointments because I'll look great for my birthday. Uh, but yeah, I'm not normally this like poorly time organized, but we are where we are. We move, as they say, house keys, cup. Oh, let me just say about this cup very quickly. You know how Stanley cups are all the range? Rage, I bought this. This is not a Stanley cup because it doesn't have a handle, but I bought this in America about a year ago and it keeps everything cold. And whilst everyone's been excited about Stanley cups, I've been like, yeah, I get it. Cause I've got like, not a Stanley Cup, but it's the same like technology. It's still like a big metal cup from America. And I just feel, mm, I just feel really cool about my cup. Right, I'm going now. My BBC interview went well. And now the next time you see me, I will not look like an egg. Right, all my um, car time and the school runs and all that are all done now We're home. I'm gonna make a really easy dinner. My little, literally all I ever do with easy dinners. Um, imagine a day where I was like, I'm gonna make a really complicated, highly skilled dinner. <laughs> um, well, and also another thing, oh, 
I'm getting distracted. Another thing that I really want to do tonight is repot my tomato plants. So I bought six and they are getting long here. And I've got some bigger pots outside, all set up, ready to go. Come on, with the soil. I'm not gonna feed them Diet Coke, don't worry. I'll just keep my Diet Cokes outside whilst it's cooler. I'll have to move them into the fridge in the summer, but just use nature's fridge for now. Um, but yeah, these are a bit big though. Like, it's a bit of a big step. I probably should have had a middle ground pot, um, but I don't. And I also don't have canes, but we've been quite, um, what's the word inventive and the girls have got these sticks as part of a like den building toy so we're going to use these but for now I'm just going to get this clean and i'm going to do some potatoes so last time i showed myself chopping potatoes i got so many comments sorry you can't see my face just in my hands um i got so many comments from people saying it was stressing them out how like uneven I was chopping them and as I was reading the comments, I was like, wow, people are being really funny about this. What's their problem? And then I watched it back and I was like, yeah, <laughs> I can see what they mean now. That is, that, does, that is stressful. But basically I just chopped them like quite small. I can't bear that you're just getting like this. Um, I chopped them small and then I parboil them. And then I, um, I put them in like a roasting dish. I do garlicky smashed potatoes and they all get a bit like, crushed up, smashed up anyway. So it doesn't matter, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry to those of you who have been offended. I actually, I can see it. When I watched it back, I was like, yeah, I think you've got a really good point. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, potatoes are on the boil. The oil is seasoned. We're gonna do these tomatoes. I'm gonna put you on the windowsill and I hope that's an all right view. Right, don't take this as any kind of gardening advice. Never done any gardening in my life. We bought these big sacks of like tomato feed and I've actually seen people just grow the tomatoes in this, but uh, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna transfer this into pots and then plant the tomatoes in the pot and then I'm gonna put them over there because that's where it gets loads of sun. Um, you can tell I'm so new, look, my trowel still has its sticker on it. And I'm, I'm thinking I'm just going to, I'm just going to scoop. This is going to get so messy, isn't it? I'm going to scoop it in. God, look at me. I'm a homesteader, everybody. Oy. Now, is this bag going to do six pots? That's the question. I'm trying not to rush this. and I'm trying to just make this like a nice, slow like meaningful mindful experience you know how gardening is like good for the good for the soul i'm trying to like not think of like the camera and not think oh quick get the shot hurry up hurry up i'm just going nice and slow oh what is it why is this so tough do you know what if you've got gardening tips leave them below even if it's not for tomatoes like if you've done some basic gardening i'm talking like growing things in pots in fact if you've got pot knowledge i mean of like flowers in pots i would like to know it because um we've bought some big pots and i want to do lavender is lavender a good idea so far all i've got is the pots i haven't got the soil i haven't got anything for it um but i'd love any advice or tips or directions or like is there a website I should be looking at? Is there a good Instagram account, YouTube channel, whatever? Like, give me the info. These yellow things on the, tomato. the little yellow things, they're flowers. Oh, Here's my there. little helper. Right, pop those down just next to them. We'll just finish yeah. off doing the pots. Just pop them on the floor, that's it. And we're gonna dig a little hole. But I think we can get some more soil in first. Can I, can I dig the hole with my finger? Yeah, of course you can, but I think we can get some more soil in. I'm going to put this hang on, hang on, I've like measured this Do not right. No, 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 wait, 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 let me put oh, some yeah. more soil in. That would be good for a seed, wouldn't it? Yeah. That would be good for it, right. That's it, so make a little hole. And then we're going to take this little guy. Are you going to put it in there, okay. So look, hang on. Right, that's his little space there, yeah? yeah. And then look, we take him out of his pot very gently. Oh look, he's Whoa. got some lovely roots. Can you see his yeah, roots? Yeah, that's what we did. Yeah, but that was a square one. So we'll keep hold of that. 
Yeah? Mine? You did it at school with a square yeah, one? Yeah, it was a square one. It was, it was Smell it. Mine is a flower, mine oh, was nice. Mine was dry. And then we're going to give it a little squeeze like That's this. That's what I did. Yeah, what else did you do at school? Uh, today? No, when you did plants at school. So we had. Yeah, I don't so know what else I'm doing. Just dig a hole and put it in. Dig a hole, right. You help me put it in then. You can use your hands. <laughs> use two hands. That's it, yeah. and then. Shove him in. Right, and then. Are you going to pack all the soil around him? There we go. Look, I'll pinch a bit from this one. I'm scraping it That's off. That's so good. Let's scrape it off. Show me those hands. <laughs> Am I supposed to pull the bottom leafy bits off? Someone said I should do this to preserve the plant's energy for like the top. <laughs> That's looking good, Pearl. Look at all our lovely plants. Do you need a bit of watering? No, they grow really well. This one is yeah. up to here. What are they going to grow, Pearl? To brothers and can I water you? Absolutely not. Can I water your camera? No. Can I water the trampoline? No. Water the tomatoes. Can I water Liam just bravely did the job I didn't dare do, which was to feed our butterflies. <gasps> oh look! Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, they're very excited about the oranges. <laughs> it's a bit later on now and Darcy's gone to ballet and what are we doing? We're having snuggles. We're having some snuggles and we're watching... Bing Bong. Bing Bong. It says Pink Fong Sing Along Movie Wonder Star Concert. That's uh, what we're watching. You mm -hmm. like it, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good morning. It's Thursday. And I'll be honest with you, I just... It's not really like... My, my hair and face just isn't complying with what I'd like. Um, normally... It all just, I just go, bit, 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 do my little steps and I just look how I want to look, but I think, I prob you might just think I look the same, as I always look, probably just look the same, but you know when you just feel, like I feel like I, my hair looks fluffy and my face isn't looking right, I think because I haven't done a fake tan in a while, and so my fake tan's rubbed off, but a lot of my makeup is like the right shade for when I've got a fake tan on, and I don't, and also when you wear white, it just really highlights that, so I like my face that's a lot darker than my chest. In the grand scheme of things, this is not a big deal, but I'm filming today, hopefully, for a brand, and I like to, like, look my best for brand jobs for me. That's, like, going to work. So I always make a bit more effort with, like, hair and makeup um, and, like, appearance for when it's sponsored stuff and then when it's stuff like this. <laughs> I just come on looking like an egg. Um, which makes no sense, does it? Because it's all the same people watching. <laughs> it's all the same audience, but it's funny the things we think in our heads. Right, well... Look, you can't polish a turd. It's as good as it's going to get today. Maybe if I put some lip gloss on. Maybe if I put some goop on my mouth opening, then I'll... It will change the game for the whole thing. We're going for this one. It's the only goop I've got to hand. It's MAC and it's called Lust. I mean, with a lip gloss like Lust, you can't not look stunning. I look exactly the same. Maybe some powder. Maybe it's the shine that's the problem. It's not the shine. It's just my whole human self that's the problem today. Goodness me. Right, this is the last bit. We're going to have a moan about that. And then we're just going to get on, the on with the day and stop having a moan. Dad's here, showing him my loose women slot. So the time is, well the time, sponsored by Anchorist, is 11 minutes past 12 and I'm having some porridge with berries and Nutella mixed in. Basically I kind of had a lunchy breakfast, I had like pita breads and cheese and guacamole, like basically I had lunch for breakfast and now I'm having breakfast for lunch. Um, but in four minutes I've got another radio interview because it's book launch week this week. In fact, today is my publication day for the paperback. So I thought I would do it in here. I will need to shut that door. I don't know if you can hear the outside sound, um, but I'm gonna do that. And then my HelloFresh box has arrived. That's who I'm working with today. This is not an ad because they haven't asked me to put it in a video, but I am working on an ad for them. So I'm gonna film that and try and get it all done before I do the school run. But cooking things takes me so long. Um, like the setup of it all, so wish me luck. Oh, I should be filming this on my phone. Ah, um, ah, I'm making two lots of content. Um, I get very nervous using the grater this close to my fingers. 
Okay. I have to say, I am so impressed by how actually easy this is. I don't usually do cooking things because, you know, I'm a terrible cook. I'm notoriously bad at cooking. Um, but I really appreciate how this is all like laid out. It's really easy. Like, it's, it's like, they haven't put extra stuff in, you know, it's just basic. Um, but this smells amazing. I wish you could smell this. Right, I'm gonna finish it off. So I've picked up Pearly, shout hello. Snacky, hello. She's having a snack and now we've come to get Darcy. So we're waiting for Darcy Doodles and it is a pouring with rain. Didn't bring a brolly, so that was fun. <laughs> I've ordered dinner at dance. I'm having a jacket potato. Darcy's having a jacket potato as well. And Pearly's having some fish fingers. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Louise. Happy birthday to you and anymore. It's Friday and it's my birthday. <laughs> oh, wow, girls, this is all so Oh, this is so nice. Who's this from? Darcy. That's from Pearl, that is so good. Oh guys, thank you. 38 today. Well done on the candles, I like those. Oh Pearly and Darcy, this is lovely. Thanks guys, my favourites. Oh, you guys are Bye, so sweet. Bye, you And we got you a cake. <gasps> and a cake as well. I've been spoiled. Oh. Oh, should we like that tonight? Yes. Yeah, we'll celebrate with that tonight. Uh, yes, I didn't say Liam should get a five, but... A five because I'm going to be 35 again. Yeah. No, I'm happy and proud to be 38. It's an honour. <laughs> you know, it's a privilege to age. Yeah, because you get wiser. You get wiser. Well, that's the, that's the goal. Granny in heaven, she didn't get to be 38, so it's an honour to be 38. Mm. She'll always be 37 in heaven. How cool is that? That's very cool. Look at that. It's got a little. I could put that on all your perfumes now. Yeah, when this runs out, I can just transfer it. And if you like, this is mine, not let nobody else. This is mine, yeah. Oh, that's such a pre lovely present. Thanks, girl. But that's when you're gone, when you're gone, we'll just use it. <laughs> what do you mean when I'm gone? Like, gone like, out of the house or dead? Like, when you're gone out the house. Oh, right. <laughs> that's okay, then. <laughs> What a lovely start to my birthday. I've just been in to Darcy's school because there was like a parents morning thing there. Um, I'm just gonna pop to the shops and get some croissants, some fresh, crispy, buttery croissants. I hope you're enjoying this vlog this week. I really enjoyed filming. I felt like there's not been the pressure that I used to feel. I think because I've just been like, just getting the camera out just for a few bits every day rather than being like, no, I must finish the day. Um, Because when I do a day in the life, by the evening, I'm like, I've got to say something. But um I've not been like worrying at all. I've just been enjoying this. So hang on, let me put you there. Um So yeah, I've just been feeling really good about vlogging this week. And I hope that's coming across. Although I've been really terrible about editing my other vlogs, my Disney vlogs, I still haven't edited, edited them. <laughs> edited. <laughs> that is hard to say very quickly. All right, I'm gonna go and get the croissants. Might have gone a little bit overboard on the pastries. Hello, gorgeous girl. Hello, my gorgeous girl. Hello, Rosie. Hello, Hello Enzo. Hello, my babies. Hello. Here we are. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, no. Welcome, Esther. Enter stage left. Here's Esther. No traffic lights on the roundabout. Not for me. Thank you very much. That would have really thrown me, you know, with my driving. Yeah. Esther does all the driving in this relationship because one, you're you're a good driver, and two, no one wants to be driven by me. Have I ever driven you anywhere? No. Would you like to be driven by me? <laughs> we wouldn't. We wouldn't get out of the Shire. Oh no, I wouldn't drive out of the Shire. I, don't, I only do town <laughs> driving, and I mean like very small Northampton town. I don't, I wouldn't drive further than that on your way, Jose. Um, we're just talking, Esther here is doing a Lua degree. She's a woman of the Lua, a scholar of the Lua. Yeah, I'm reading the Lua. Reading the Lua, and by Lua we mean law. Law. <laughs> she's doing a law degree. She's gonna become a law lawyer, solicitor, barrister extraordinaire. Well, possibly not. Well, I think you will. Maybe I'll just do it. Maybe will. I'm just doing it for something to do. 
Because so, what do you mean? So that you've got three kids and you've got your own business? What are you talking about? Just got time on my hands. No, so sometimes it's something I've always wanted to do. I've always been interested, but I never had the confidence when I was younger because I was always told I was very thick. Well, but you're not. So I never thought I could do it. And then it's taken me 45 years to realise I'm not thick. No, you're not. And possibly could do it, so I'm giving it a good bash. I'm giving it a bash. Well, I can't wait. So if you, in three years, need a solicitor, here she is. Future of tomorrow. <laughs> uh, what's on the agenda for today, beloved? So, it is your day of birth. Yeah. So, we're all about celebrating you. Blinking king stepped into the sun. Oh, the yeah. sun rolling high. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we're going to celebrate you and the day of birth. We're going to, we've got a wedding to shop for. We've got a wedding and Esther, basically, I'll tell, shall I say what's happened? We've been to the Hindu of the bride and uh, the bride is, is a London lady and all her friends are very cool, very chic. And Esther doesn't, you don't really leave the Shire very often. I felt very inadequate and like I needed to up the game. Well, we didn't feel inadequate. No, well, I did in my clothing. No, the clothing was lovely. It was Esther, 10 out of 10 for where I live, but not for the London set. It, well, Esther thinks she saw a lady in chain mail. I did see a lady did in chain mail. Nobody was wearing chain mail. Yes, they were. She had a chain mail top and she looked absolutely glorious. Do you mean mesh? Do you mean mesh? She had a mesh top. They've got crumbs on after that. Mesh, cost. chain mail, all <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> Looked fabulous. So, she did. Um, so now we're going to find an outfit for Esther. Yeah, she has got a oh. really lovely like chiffon floaty floral It won't dress. fit it for it a London come, wedding. Well it will, but it won't. we're gonna find something else and we're gonna pop into Harrods Beauty and have a look around there. Um, because Louise is horrified. I am. I, I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna say it because I was gonna protect you. I wasn't gonna say it, but you. No, feel I'm free. gonna say this because I think a lot of people would be with me. So, hope Caroline Hirons isn't watching. Throughout my life, I have always used uh, makeup wipes <laughs> to remove my makeup. Yeah, I think that's completely acceptable and very normal. No, three things makeup it, wipes are for. Caroline Hirons will tell you she is skin expert. Flights, fannies, and festivals. You deserve better. But it says eye makeup removal on it. It's de yeah. designed for eye makeup removal, so that's what I do. I well, remove my, my makeup with it. But Louise is horrified. The irony, this. the difficulty is Esther has incredible skin. Incredible skin. She looks. Yeah. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing you, wrong with my white. No, you look absolutely beautiful. No. <laughs> so I'm but, going to prove you wrong. I'm going well, to come out in hives once I've used all this new kit. Good. And reserve. reserve just before the wedding. Back to my wife. Just wipes before again. you put the chain mail on. <gasps> my back is running out oh no oh no i hope i've got a spare battery hang on let me have a look look at <laughs> what did you just say so there's a fluffy thing on the top of here look can i just show everybody so when people are talking about the fluffy thing on the top it's this can you see it here it's not going to focus oh hang on <laughs> just <laughs> just tried to focus the mirror just a nice little what little sensory thing for me to numb on yeah to numb your finger on as you're doing it i think it would affect the sound that affect the sound i hate to be that person that talks about the weather but this is not birthday weather my birthday is april 28th and i always have lovely sunny warm weather look at it this is not this is not spring is it oh steady on it's a, oh, yeah i'm not really sure no well there's a cup of tea there oh i should never really noticed it i think you can see I think there's a willy in there yeah a yeah hmm. how unsavory First stop is phase eight. Look at these. This is the white version of your jumpsuit. This is lovely. So look, this is what hey, I've bought. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, beautiful. We can't wear white to a wedding. This is what I've bought for, I'm going to the BAFTAs later this month and I'm wearing, no, not this, sorry. This is not what I've bought. <laughs> Came in to find Esther some bits and actually found a few that I'm gonna try on myself. I never get to try clothes on in shops because they never stock the plus sizes. So thank you, phase eight. This is option one. I really, really like this a lot. But obviously wear a bit of shapewear, but yeah, I like this a lot. Option two. I like this one as well. I love this one as well. This never happens to me, but this feels a bit too big. I don't know if I've got it done up properly, but mm, I like it, but I don't love it as much as these ones. We've moved on to hats. 
<laughs> what do you think? I actually quite like it. Maybe I'm gonna become a hat person. Question for you, how many wackers is too many wackers in one week? Answer is, the limit does not exist. We're at the iconic section. I've just encouraged Esther to buy this. So with the illuminators, the original one is lovely, but very goldy gold. This one, blush. Oh, it's not, it's not focusing. Where are we? Should no. I, should I try some on? Just smooth it in like that. I'd, I'd sort of pat, pat, pat it. Let's have a look at you. Just let that dry naturally like that. Yeah, yeah, I would. Can I touch you? Yes. I'd pat Teach it. me what you're doing so I can I'd just pat, 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 pat. Okay. Look at that highlight. It's just stand up a bit so I can see. No, like, do this with your face so I can see it. Oh, that's an easy help We're all right, thank you. Yeah, she's buying that one. <laughs> that looks lovely. I mean, that's stunning. Is that too much on there? I would blend it a little bit, yeah. You're be this, these, they last for so long because you barely need any. When in Rome or when in Milton Keynes Shopping Centre. Dance mum life. We're home from dance and Liam's here, say hello. Hello. Here he is just putting away a jet washer and we are going to do something really lovely now. We've been raising butterflies for the past few weeks. We've got one of those kits where you get them from little, um, what they're called, caterpillars. Do you want to go yeah. grab them? And they are ready to be released yeah. well, let's take them into the... Here's Pearly with them, okay. okay. Oh yeah, in the sunshine would be good. Oh, it's touching you. Steady, steady, steady. They're coming out. They're gonna go live a good life. Guys, this is a precious moment. This is not a time to attack each other. Just the magic of nature. <laughs> Goodbye, be free. Precious moments. <laughs> Did you enjoy that, Pearly? Did you enjoy growing yeah. them? What's up there that you don't like? A bee. A bee? Oh, God. Yeah. Maybe you two stopped being little savages. Okay, bye. Milky, who is this? Milky. He's a lovely boy. Are you just the most lovely specimen? Hello. Hello, Orbit. Oh, yes. Some kisses. Who's that smacking my bottom? It's oh. Daddy. Is it? Doesn't sound like daddy, sounds a lot like Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> Liam's gone to get Darcy and we're setting up the cake and you want to give it a taste test already? Yeah. Want to do the tart what dude. You're just gonna that little flake? Yeah. Go on then. Happy birthday to you and, and many more. more. Three, two, oh, hang on, let me think about my wishes. I'm gonna make 38, I'm not really, I'm just gonna make, okay, three, two, one. So time has moved on and it is actually Saturday morning for me now, but it's like a millisecond after the last clip for you. I wanted to jump on and just do a nice little intro to wrap the weekly up. I'm so glad I chose to film this week. Like this, this is such, I'm gonna want to look back on this week. Like started off with Loose Women, ended with my birthday, had a really, really lovely birthday. I know it wasn't like a big wowy day, but that those are the things I just wanted to do. Like I wanted to go to the school thing in the morning, spend time with Esther, spend time with my family. Like it was perfect. Uh, but I've got to go and take the girls to dance now. Dance from life never ends. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe because I have more videos like this coming very soon. Love you all lots. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a friendly comment. Bye.